Hey, good morning, good morning, good morning. I am your host, Luis Lopez, and welcome to another episode of Talking Cancer, My Journey, My Way. Um, first, I'd like to just say thank you for tuning in. Um, as I continue to move forward and work out the kinks uh, in in my the way I podcast, um, soon to be um, hosting other people that are walking a similar walk um, and talking about their journey. If you wish to be a part of the podcast, uh, please do so um, and email me at cancer my journey my way. Um, also, if you would like to have more information on my the still cell the still cell stem cell patches uh, that I am currently trying out, um, hit me up and I'll let you know how to uh, go about uh, getting some. Um, you can reach me at cancer my journey my way at gmail dot com. And thank you for all the platforms that are hosting my podcast. I greatly appreciate it. Um, right now, I am, I am in a place where I am speaking of curing myself through, um, verbal affirmations and I want to continue that and if you would like to join me in that uh, please do so Um, I also would like to um, start uh, some other affirmations as well Um, and actually it's the the 42 uh, the 42 ideals of Mayat which was an Egyptian goddess um, but I find, I find her affirmations or her, um, ideals, um, to be very, very impactful. So I will be reading them, uh, today. Um, there's only one that I don't really, um, agree with. So I will switch that a little bit. And just so you know, when I get to it, um, there's, uh, one of her ideals is I praise the goddess and the God. Um, I believe in only one God, so I will change that to I praise God. Um, so, um, but everything else is amazing. Um, and if you know anything about the 42 ideals of Mayat, um, um, which I'm just barely finding out, so excuse me, um, a lot of these uh, ideals that she has are believed to um, the Ten Commandments are believed to have been taken from some of these ideas of Maat. Um, that's a deep story. I don't want to go into that. Um, but if you feel like uh, doing your homework and your research on uh, the history of these things, um, I advise you to tap in and, and look at, uh, the, the different things that have been found over time, you know, the emerald tablets, things like that. Um, but I want to start off first and you can start off with me by saying, Cancer will not beat me. I will defeat cancer. Cancer will not rule my life. My life will be filled with abundance. I am the cure. I will beat cancer now I need to write that down probably (laughs) so I'll probably write that down later so I can remember exactly what I said um, so I can repeat this 
um, every day. Um, definitely want to repeat this every day. Um, and I will now go into the 42 ideas of Mayat. Um, and I think these are really profound. And if I didn't, I wouldn't say them. Um, and feel free to say them with me. Repeat after me, if you will. And you could actually feel the first time I did this, somebody else read it. And I read them. I said it back. And the things that I felt um, felt so genuine. I, w I could feel a change in me when I said them. So, um, at that time, I just closed my eyes and repeated after the person that was saying them. Um, so please join me. I honor virtue. I benefit from gratitude. I am peaceful. I respect the properties of others. I affirm that all life is sacred. I give offerings that are genuine. I live in truth. I regard all altars with respect. I speak with sincerity. I consume only my fair share. I offer words of good intent. I relate in peace. I honor animals with reverence. I can be trusted. I care for the earth. I keep positivity of others. I keep, I speak positively of others. Sorry about that. I speak positively of others. I remain in balance with my emotions. I am truthful in my relationships. I hold purity in high esteem. I spread joy. I do the best I can. I communicate with compassion. I listen to opposing opinions. I create harmony. I invoke laughter. I am open to love in various forms. I am forgiving. I am kind. I act respectfully of others. I am accepting. I follow my inner guidance. I converse with awareness. I do good. I give blessings. I keep the waters pure. I speak with good intent. I praise God. I am humble. I achieve with integrity. I advance through my own abilities. I embrace the all. Um, those are powerful, to say the least. Very, very powerful. Um, and I want to do this um, on a regular basis. Um, why do I want to do this on a regular basis? I want to do what is called a 21 day challenge where your affirmations can actually, uh, change some of your, some of your DNA and how they work. Basically turn them on or off. Um, as I continue to study uh, more about DNA and epiDNA, um, I tend I've come to find out that you could alter your DNA 
in a lot of cases. Um, from my understanding uh, of DNA and what I've listened to and read so far, um, your DNA is just one big memory card holding hundreds and hundreds and thousands and trillions of memories of time before you were even born. Uh, joys, um, turmoils of your past, of your parents' past and their parents' past. You know, um, that's, that's huge. That's huge. I mean, if you think about that, you know, so if you were, um, you know, beaten back in the day, those traumas are carried over unto you. The things that you were going through have been passed down to you and you can break that channel. You could change, turn on or off that DNA that may be causing you issues through affirmations. And it starts with a 21 day affirmations, repeating those things on a regular basis. And believing those things on a regular basis. To the point where no one can tell you any different. Where you walk into a room and you um, demand the respect just by the way you walk in. Not because you're asserting yourself. But because there's a presence within you. An aura And I am light and I am divine and I will beat cancer. If you have cancer today and you're listening or even if you're just going through some things in your life uh, of doubt maybe or whatever, join me on this 21 day quest as I continue to um Affirm myself to reassure myself that I am going to beat this. And not only that, but practice, embed those 42 ideals of my art. I thought they were pretty amazing. I'm not sure if you did them or read them, but you could pull them up on the internet. The 42 ideals of my art and do some research and homework of what exactly that is and what it means. And, um, but those are values that we hold sacred today. You know, these things are, um, something that should be, uh, I don't know, maybe just passed on to your kids on a regular basis. Like this should be, um, some teachings that are in school. These, this, this should be like your pledge of allegiance. You know what I mean? Like really though, these things should be practiced on a regular basis to, uh, create a whole human being. Now, I'm on some other stuff at the same time because, you know, of what the doctor is trying to say. But I will not speak that. I am speaking cure. I am speaking cure, and I will continue to speak cure until my test results come in saying that I am cured. And I'm going to tell you that I am cured. Live, right here, on Talking Cancer, My Journey, My Way. Now, I do everything I can in the meantime. I'm not trying to go all willy-nilly. I'm trying to do everything in my can and my power. Because 
I am light and I am divine and I have the cure within myself to make this happen. I have the belief system to make this happen. So what do I do? I start off by my, my food. I start off by feeding my body water in the morning to energize my body. I am in the process of, of alkaline, alkalining my body. Uh, from my understanding, cancer cannot live in an alkaline state. So um, I drink a lot of lemon water and things like that. Um, I also uh, am eating a lot of uh, different types of mushrooms to help with uh, my body and, you know, the antioxidants and stress relief and all that stuff that these things that feed cancer, stress feeds cancer, sugar feeds cancer. So, um, you know, I attempt to eliminate all these things out of my system purge them out of my system um, to become better. Um, I am completely plant-based at this point, um, going on like three weeks now, and um, I'm on a journey to be a better human being. And since I am created by God, then I can definitely say that I am God-like. Why not? If he is my creator, then I am God-like. And I have to believe that. And if he could create, if he could make miracles, then why can't I? He created me. Think about that. You know? As I continue to move on, join me on this quest of 21 day affirmations and I will probably take it further than 21 days. Maybe make this a part of my daily routine. You know, as I do, as you know, I don't do this on Saturday and Sunday. So if you choose to take this challenge with me, then you're going to have to do this on Saturday and Sunday on your own. But you have to speak it verbally. Where you can hear yourself. You can't just say it in your mind. You have to speak it. It's something about the, 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 the sound vibration. The vibration of your voice, the sound that helps with the change, um, in your DNA to turn on or off the things that are afflicting you. Or not afflicting you. To remove the pain of the past. The turmoil and of the past. We all deserve greatness. And it starts by you believing in that. And starting your affirmation process. I believe I will be my own cure. I believe I will fight this and beat it. All right. Well, that's where I'm at. And I'm doing all the things that I can to make sure that I do so. Um, you know, my stem cell patches, uh, those are actually working really well at this point. Um, like I said, I'm not getting as much sleep that... Um, I feel like should be necessary. I'm not getting like my seven, eight hours sleep. But right now, I think I'm boiled down to about six. But I feel like it's a solid six. Like I'm not waking up in the middle of the night. Um, and I feel like it's a, a more quality of sleep, of, of, of it, of sleep. So, hey, I'll take that. You know what I mean? Um, as far as the energy is concerned, I feel like I do have better energy and I feel like I have better clarity as well at this particular point. And I've only, I've been like, I'm like a solid weekend, like every day, solid week. I've actually done a little bit longer than a solid week, but I took like three or four days off because, um, I was just out there swimming and doing all this stuff, whatever. Um, and the patches will be affected. So, um, but yeah, I mean, 
I'm I'm happy right now. I'm in a really, really good place. And like I said, if you want to try the patches, let me know. I'll let you know how to get a hold of some. You know, um, you can reach me at Cancer My Journey My Way uh, at gmail.com. That's Cancer My Journey My Way. If you choose to want to know how to get a hold of some stem cell pack, some stem cell patches, uh, please do uh, reach out to me. Um, you know, with that being said, uh, my name is Lewis. And I thank you for tuning in to Talking Cancer, My Journey, My Way. And that was my alarm. (laughs) Uh, Sorry for the interruption on that. Uh, But no, seriously, thank you for tuning in. I truly appreciate you. Uh, God bless. Peace, love, one.